With a vote of four to three, that board approved the district's reopening plan, but with a major change requiring elementary schools to also operate on a hybrid schedule. We have team coverage for you tonight, thoroughly covering that decision and its aftermath, including an ongoing debate in Frankfurt. But first, we want to begin with Rose McBride. She's been talking with local parents about this plan live tonight. Rose? Doug, reaction to the decision to send all kids back to school on a hybrid schedule was mixed. Some parents are happy that their kids are going back to school at all, and others say that this schedule is going to cause problems, instead wanting their kids back in school five days a week. There's no way I see this working. This is a, a train wreck waiting to happen. Steve Olam is a part of the Let Them Learn in JCPS group that's been advocating for opening schools for months. Olam wants his fourth grade daughter back in the classroom, but doesn't believe a hybrid schedule is going to work for the youngest learners. When you have children six to 10 years old, six to 11, routine is something that's very important. The hybrid schedule is not a change the district proposed, so now administrators have been busy adjusting plans. What's happening right now, conversations are taking place with our school leaders to help walk them through what that would look like for the hybrid model for elementary school students. Those conversations are about things like how and if teachers will have both virtual and in-person students and what bus routes will look like. But another district not too far away has experience with this model. Currently, with the hybrid model, it's better than only virtual. Hardin County schools at every level have been on a hybrid schedule since school began in August. Superintendent Terry Morgan believes the schools would have the greatest success with five days in person. But having all students in the building, even if only for a few days a week, is better than nothing. So we think it's really important to see those students and to have some accountability. JCPS teachers will soon see their students and the district is confident it will be a safe return. The main thing we want to tell our families is that our schools will be ready and we've been preparing. Now, even if the district is prepared to go back, Olam isn't so sure. He says now parents like himself are going to have to find childcare for just three days a week. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride.